if you work at the EPA, if you work at the Interior Department, if you work at the Agricultural Department, the USDA, you're not allowed to use social media to talk about climate change. I mean, what does this sound like? Doesn't it sound like, I mean, Putin's Russia, right? I mean, it's a gag rule. We haven't seen that in this country ever. A gag rule. These, these federal employees cannot even use the word climate change uh, in, on, on social media because it's against the, it's against the beliefs of the president of the United States who still believes that climate change is nothing but a hoax invented by the Chinese. And in fact, the, the CDC, Center for Disease Control, canceled a conference that they had scheduled to discuss the impact of climate change on human health. Even something as important as that, as basic as that, isn't it at least worth talking about and getting these scientists together? They can't do it under the policies now of the, uh, of the Trump administration. Uh, can't report on science, can't talk about science. I mean, this, this, is, this is a dictatorship. There was something really unsettling yesterday to watch in real time as <laughs> um, Badlands National Park. Yeah. They were tweeting right. about climate change. They were tweeting about heat records that we're seeing. And you know what? Within a couple of hours... Poof. Yeah, they were they shut were down. Gone. No, yeah. they were deleted. Oh, deleted. And, yeah. And, yeah. And, but, yeah. but like, they were like, told deleted. to have yes, to have that stuff out there and to watch it disappear in the middle of the day in broad daylight is is we should be very worried. Yeah. And then you've got a, a nominee for uh, EPA who's another climate denier who said yesterday, uh, "We need more study about climate change. We need more debate." Uh, uh, about it. Uh, this this is really, really reckless and really dangerous. And uh, it's uh, it's just going, you know, it's going backwards, backwards. Um, uh, Sean Spicer yesterday uh, at his press conference defended this ban, uh, <coughs> pardon me, this gag rule. Because they had inappropriately violated their own social media policies, there was guidance that was put out to the department to act in compliance with the rules that were set forth. Yeah. 